let's just rank this month. No copyright tons of March 2023. This one is really annoying. I don't have to sleep with one eye open. I can just have some random cat to completely murder that thing. Or I could just murder that spider and then just go to sleep without anything. Like, what's the point in sleeping with one eye open? I'll just light that thing. I'll just take the lighter out of that spider. Like, this song just this serves no purpose to exist. 26 out of 100. No copyrights on stop, ex stop accepting this stuff. It's annoying. You're just making your label seem too mainstream. Like, no, like none of these people who are on this community would like this. Oh, wrong song. This song is going to be ranked higher than that. This song is not going to be ranked higher. Because what even is this? Feels like it's my fortune that you put in. Easily the worst of Women's Week. They do the, they make Women's Week, but no week for black people. No copyright sounds. There's clearly some racism happening. <laughs> like, why would you only have Women's Week, but no black people week? Come on. I mean, what makes, it would kind of make sense because there's, I don't think there's that many black people who produce um, EDM music or something like that. Yeah, they're probably mostly doing rapping because most rappers are black. That, that could probably be the case. Anyways, this song just gets like a 27. I just don't like this. And it's a shame that no copyright sounds is just accepting this kind of music. And not m like more Tobu stuff or any good artists. Instead, they're just accepting artists that nobody knows and probably doesn't care about. We don't even know this person. <laughs> Alright. I literally checked this song out by Alan Walker. It was nice. Hey, yo, Kupex returned. Look at this guy. Hey, yo. Alright. Enough showing my cat. Let me... Let me just look for another song. Um... This, uh... This is gonna be insane. Uh... Let's just pick this one. This is just the original with added bass or something like that. But honestly, I'm not sure if the original is better or this one. They just made the original slightly empty, slightly less emptier. And it's kind of cool to see Throne on the main No Copyright Sounds label instead of Arcade. So he makes his actual debut on here. And it has more views than all the other arcade songs that he's made. Anyways, this I'll probably give it like a 60 out of 100. It might grow on me in the future, might not. And it's kind of weird <laughs> to see this. Alright, next... I've been completely behind schedule for these things because I've completely been less motivated into doing these monthly rankings a bit. And next we have... 
Let's just pick. You know, we're just gonna pick this one. And hold up, did Phoenix actually make something good for once? Because I never liked this artist back then. Overdosing was mediocre. The World Is Out was fine, I guess. But uh, this is her best. And this definitely gets a 74 out of 100. I like the drops onto it, but the vocal chops are kind of weird. But hey, Phoenix, if you come back with with better songs like this, then I would probably go and listen to you or other stuff again. Next, we have... Bro, this just sounds like something that Navarro would make. And it's kind of interesting to see Pilo or Polo basically um, collab with his cousin, Lucky Low. And also, India is back. I think it's a bit weird to see this here. I'll probably give this a 79. It's not a bad, it's a pretty good release. But I would just never come back to it a lot. It, also, it was way too early to be released. Because it's supposed to be released in October. That is way too early. Why did you release it there? Uh, next... There we go. This is actually an incredible release. I wasn't expecting much for Plague because I'm not a fan of his stuff. But this one was kind of an unexpected return. The vocals he put were actually great. 83 out of 100. And next we have... We probably might put this... Yeet! I don't even know this artist, but kind of unexpected for an artist that I don't know to actually be a good debut for this one. Because Bro really used the exact same vocals as the song by Aria and Blank Faces titled Daydream. Even though I don't really like that song. And I think it's an overrated debut. But this one, bro just made it way better. Give it an 86. Props to this artist. Next. By the way, I was just building this in Minecraft. <laughs> kind of. Something. Next. Um... 
This month was actually surprisingly not a bad month. Um, this is going to be hard. Um, you know, I'm just going to put this down here. I still really like this, but it just kind of grew off of me. The vocals aren't uh, that great, though. The drops are very powerful. Unexpected W for this artist. She was featured on songs by Hilo. Not that great of an artist, by the way. Yeah. Paradise, she was featured on that one. That one's absolute garbage. And she was also featured on think like other ones probably only paradise or probably over, over a few more her voice is way too relaxing for this song though um this i don't know why this got a light blue circle this should have gotten lavender circle no copyright sounds can you stop mislabeling? I'm tired of you mislabeling. <laughs> Next. Mm. I'm just gonna put this on here. This is definitely better than her other two songs on here. She's definitely better on Masha Cat than here. She made like two more songs, like the remix of John Ending's song titled What the Hell and the other song that she debuted with Rel. Overrated song, by the way. Those two songs are pretty overrated. But this made me forgive all of those uh, uh, those two singles. Thank you for redeeming yourself, Oblivion. 90 out of 100. But I'll still never forgive. No copyright sounds for mislabeling this as lavender. It's supposed to be light blue, I think. Yeah, that's what it's supposed to be. Is that easy E in there? <laughs> Rest in peace, though. Alright, next. Uh... Oh, damn, this is hard. This is hard. Um, you know what? Let's just go place that there. I might just be a... I might just be a sucker for funk because... My goodness, they have never released a bad one. And to be honest, enemies is great and this one are the are the tied or tied with each other because i love this anyways i'll definitely give this a 93 out of 100 oh yeah i'll give the 93 out of 100 i gotta stop doing that weird noise um the next uh let's just put this here Hey, this is surprisingly good. This reminds me of Miss You by Oliver Tree and Robin Schultz. Oh, terrible song, by the way. Robin Schultz and Oliver Tree, that's easily the worst song that they made. And also this artist, formerly Zeth B or something like that, is... is he, he was featured on the song by Futuristic titled um, I forgot what it was titled um, I 
Yeah, I forgot it was titled, but I knew he returned from that song. Yet alone. I'll give this a 96 out of 100, though. It's four points off for reminding me of Miss You by Robin Schultz and Oliver Tree. TikTok completely makes songs absolutely unlistenable. <laughs> Man, this one just got a bit random. Okay. <sighs> Angel Player does not miss. 98 out of 100. Their funk is too good. Next... Surprising to see a dubstep gutter artist here on the label. And Martin's vocals, of course. Can't forget about him. His screamo vocals are really good. And thank God dubstep is here. That background is really cool. Definitely give it a 99 out of 100. It's pretty fire. Y'all should check it out. All right, we got this one. All right, so this was an unexpected return for Sick. Way better than Mess, because that song was a mess. This song, however, I will probably listen to this at 2 a.m. if I couldn't sleep. The best 2 minutes and 21 seconds of my existence. For Even though it loosely puts all around the F-bomb for some reason. <laughs> but I could see past that. Anyways, 99. Actually, 100, because that is too fire to not give an 100. Mm, then we got the best. You got to. <laughs> to be honest, I'm never really excited for songs that are announced by the label because they're mostly absolute duke. But this is definitely the best song that No Copyright Sounds announced coming out. And Tosoki is one of the best artists. This is a huge step up from Feelings. Because that song was not good anymore. And this makes me forget that even that other song even exists. Whoa, what is this cat doing here? <laughs> Look at this cat, bro. Look what he's doing here. Alright. This got the pro this cat probably is so insane. Look at him. Anyways. That's gonna be it. Goodbye. Stay safe. Yeah.